when we got married in 1956. And at Beach Aircraft, it gave me good experience engineering design of uh, airplane parts, ailerons, the refueling system that we use right now. I helped design that probe and uh, they're still using it. When we first came out with drones and they had a propeller and sometimes they wouldn't start so my boss said, Leon, would you design a good propeller starter? So I got a chainsaw motor, a Bendix starter from a car, and put them together. And it cost maybe $100 in time and labor and, and materials. They immediately started selling them to the Air Force for $6,000 each. The boss really liked that. I worked on the missile silos 62, 63, and part of 64, doing the uh, validation testing at each missile silo. Well, that gave me good experience. I worked on the uh, Moon Rover, air products, uh, uh, transport trucks to haul fuel, and then that led into becoming a uh, the lunar module uh, project engineer to go to the different meetings, talked about every system going that was being built that day mm -hmm. on the lunar module. And this was the first lunar module that just orbited Earth. It wasn't going to the moon yet. So completed that project, worked with the astronauts every day, reported to Jim McDivitt, especially he had more questions than anybody else. Uh, worked with Buzz Aldrin. Uh, I was a Mason and he was a Mason. Gordon Cooper was a Mason. And uh, we were building the lodge in 1969 in Seabrook. Every night after work, we'd go over there and work an hour or two. And the astronauts kind of enjoyed hiding out because they didn't, they didn't have, we didn't talk business there. It was just friendship. All of us got to know the astronauts pretty well. Didn't leave there until 1972, when we went into a, into a business, opened up a business of our own, a meat market. I felt if I could manage engineers and draftsmen, I could surely supervise meat cutters. Didn't know a T-bone from a sirloin, but I was just so naive and self-confident, and so the sky was the limit. I think I could go put my hands on a Houston Business Journal newspaper that a uh, one of their reporters came out came out and interviewed me when I first opened up the meat market and described the transition of where did all the NASA engineers go? Uh, anyway, in the meat market, since I knew the astronauts, they always came to us for their their splashdown party party trays, enough enough meat and vegetables to feed 300 people. And as smart as, as astronauts are supposed to be, they would usually come with three of them in a Corvette to pick it up and there'd be six or eight trays, three foot in diameter. They just hadn't thought ahead to know where they were going to put that mm -hmm. <laughs> to carry it back. And so it was always fun. Mm -hmm. So here we are, 40 years later, 45 years later, and we're retired on 35 acres, enjoying the family, enjoying the grandsons, the grandchildren. Have a few cows, uh, work those every day, feed them and hay them, do my mowing out here. <laughs>